Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bharat, you're watching iGAN. Uh, today we're gonna talk about some really cool apps for uh, your phone or your smartphone device. And uh, these are apps that we use frequently and uh, here are some seven or eight apps that I would recommend uh, that you download if you don't already know about them. And for those who do great, do recommend some other apps for us in the comment section. But for those who don't, here are some cool apps uh, that I would recommend that you go check out. So let's get started. The first app is DuckDuckGo. Now this is a really popular browser and this one automatically prevents trackers from tracking you and creating your profile. The browser itself also doesn't collect any data. So every time you open up DuckDuckGo, you are a fresh new user and there is no information about you. This is a great browser to have if you want to maintain your privacy and also a pretty fast browser because it prevents other trackers from tracking you so it saves up on your bandwidth. So every time you open up a website, you can see that it'll give you a rating of the website. So here you can see that IGAN gets a B plus rating, which was enhanced from C. And you can see that the only trackers here are from Oracle and Google. So uh, no other trackers on the IGAN website, guys. It's super safe, go check it out. And uh, then you can also control your privacy settings. And then when you're done browsing, you can simply click the burn button and it will burn all the data that was there. So a really cool app to go check out if you haven't already done that. A lot of people know about this browser, but a lot of people don't. And this is one of the most safe and clean browsers and something that I use frequently. So you can go check it out. The next app that I want to recommend is After Focus. Uh, this is a cool app. So here I'm going to open up uh, this uh, photograph. And then once I do that, I have uh, several ways of selecting parts of the photograph. So here, for example, I'm selecting the foreground. So I will select the foreground a little more properly. So this is my foreground. Then I can say that these, these are the trees over here. It's automatically sort of selected those. And then I can say that this is the complete background. So what I'm doing is I'm creating three layers of depth in the photograph. And uh, it allows you to also finally sort of select areas. And then you can also erase parts uh, that you don't want to select. And then uh, you have uh, the ability to sort of create your own level of blur in an image. So if you don't have a portrait camera, which a lot of phones do and a portrait mode as well, but if you don't like it or don't enjoy it, uh, then you can use this to control the amount of blur. And also you can also change the type of blur. So you can see that it creates a motion blur over here. And then you can also create a zoom blur if that's something that you want. And uh, then you also have a feathering option. So you can create a feather around the edge. And then you also have an anti-alias edge option. And it says that mid-range pixels will be replaced with foreground pixels. So it, it'll create a better edge for the image. And then you also can choose the type of bokeh that you get. So you can have little hearts every time you have tiny lights in the background. Uh, you also have the ability to have a sort of a gradual background fade. So uh, you can do that uh, with this feature. And then you have the ability to sort of select what parts will be in the background and what parts will be in the foreground or in focus. And you can do that vertically or horizontally. So this is cool uh, for that as well. And uh, like I said, this is a free app, uh, but uh, you do get these ads at the bottom. But if you want, you can pay for the app and remove the ads as well. You also do have certain effects uh, that you can add to this. And you also have uh, certain filters that you can add. And you can also add filters only to the foreground uh, and not to the background. So if you want to do that, you can do that here as well. So you can see that I can uh, sort of swap out the background and make it black and white. If I want to add an effect just to the foreground, I can do that here as well. So pretty cool features. And then if you have the paid version, you can save your images in a higher resolution as well. Uh, right now it saves it in a smaller size, but you can test out all the features in the free version. So it's definitely cool and you can share it on social media. So that part is cool as well. Now, the next app that I've been using quite a lot to refresh my language memory is Duolingo. Now, this is a very popular app as well, and you can learn tons of languages over here. You can go through a course, and not only can you learn languages, but if you are like me and you've studied a different language, you can sort of freshen up on your language over here. So I've been doing the French course, and I've been going through some of the basics here, and I can tell you that it is a really cool app to sort of get into your language, but also it rewards you for every time you are correct and it gives you points and using those points, you can unlock more features. So you can see that it is more like a game and less like a course. So it's a lot of fun and intuitive. And especially if there are kids who are learning new languages, they will enjoy the user interface quite a lot. Un 
So basically like that, you guess what's written here or it asks you a question and you have to answer. So it's pretty intuitive, it's pretty easy, and it's pretty user-friendly as well. So definitely go check this out if you guys are interested. The next app I would like to recommend is called Overdrop. Now this is a really cool weather app uh, that not only gives you your basic weather information like uh, temperature and what it feels like thanks to the humidity, but it also gives you much more information about uh, your uh, weather. And uh, you can see that it has all of these detailed indexes over here. So you have the UV index, the dew point, when the sun will rise and when the sun will set, how much visibility do you have, all of that. And then over here you can see that you have really nice graphs for the temperature, for the wind conditions, uh, for the precipitation, as well as the amount of precipitation. This is the free version. You can remove ads by buying this app, which is nice. And then you do have an air quality index and forever are we living in a hazardous air quality here. And uh, you can see that this week, it gives you a weekly prediction of the weather as well. And then in that also, you can have a detailed and advanced view as well. So here you can see that we have basically 45 degrees throughout the week, which is gonna be a tough week, guys, and zero chances of rain. So pretty detailed app. And then moreover, you can go here and sort of set up themes. So you do have a bunch of themes over here and you can also change from a light mode to a dark mode. So I can go into a free theme and change between themes. Uh, this is the free version, like I said, and if you pay, you get these additional themes uh, here as well. So you can swap out themes and it gives you these nice color palettes. Pretty cool app. Uh, you can also configure some widgets from here, so you can install these widgets directly on your home screen if that's something that you want. So uh, definitely recommend it if you are looking for a really good weather app to replace your stock weather app, this one is highly recommended. The next app over here is called RadarBot. This is a really cool app that I use especially in Delhi because Delhi now has a lot of traffic cams and security cams and red light cams. And, and this is designed not to sort of uh, give you access so that you can break the law, but this is designed so that you are self-aware and you keep your speed in check. And then you're also aware of where the traffic cameras are because in most cases, they're not marked properly. So even if you're a kilometer or two over the speed limit, you will get fined. But with this, if you are over, you can check your speed. So if you're in a 60 speed limit zone and you're going at like 62, you can bring down your speed to like 60 so that you don't get a fine. And if you have this app, you know where the new cameras are because this is crowdsourced. And this is free to use, but you do have a premium version, uh, which uh, does give you additional features like removing the ads, first of all, and then you also get a dark mode and it gives you slightly more precise uh, information. Plus it uses the inbuilt GPS to give you speed information as well. So if you are sort of going over the speed limit, it'll give you a little bit of a warning as well. Go check it out, really useful app, especially if you're in a city that has a ton of traffic cameras like Delhi does now. Um, this is this can be really useful. You can see how many warnings we have on the screen right now. Next up is Wallpy. Now this is a really cool wallpaper app that we use and you guys ask us a lot of times what wallpaper we are using in our video. And uh, you'll find that most of the times it's from Wallpy. What Wallpy does is goes through all the sites where wallpapers are made available for free and it goes searches through those images and indexes them in a really nice way. You can also jump through different collections. So instead of categories, you have collections and they're designed in a way that it helps you sort of find a better wallpaper. So you can see you have colorful backdrops, uh, two or three different types of backdrops, and these are made by people, these collections. So they're not made by the app and it gives you different types of backdrops depending on who's chosen them. And you get really nice collection, abstract wallpapers, in certain cases, if you want more uh, landscape wallpapers, you can get those as well. And you can also search through collections for the kind of wallpaper you want. So if I want to say dark sky, I can search for that and it'll give me tons of dark sky options over here. So really cool app, go check this out, completely free and very nice and fast interface and it connects through several websites and it'll also tell you every time you tap on the image where the image is from. So in this case, you can see it's from Unsplash. So you can uh, also see where the image is sourced from. So that's really cool. Go check out Wallpy. The next app that I highly recommend is called Warden. And Warden will basically scan all your apps and uh, tell you which apps have what kind of trackers. So here I'll run a quick scan. So here you can see all the apps that we've scanned. We've scanned about 21 apps and you can see how many trackers and loggers there are. And then more importantly, you can also turn these off. You can see what app is using what tracker over here. 
and uh, you can also see what apps are logging. So there are two apps that are logging. So you can see those loggers over here as well. So lots of uh, details that you can get. So <laughs> manually you can open up apps and uh, you can see what all things it has access to. And you can also sort of uh, disable that access directly from Warden. In certain cases, you will need root access to do certain things. So uh, if you want to do those things, you'll have to grant the app root access. Also, this app is not available in the Play Store. This is an open source app and uh, it is uh, developed and available on XDA forums. So we'll have a link to that in the description. A really cool app, definitely handy so that you know what app is using what tracker or what logger to collect your data, which most apps are doing nowadays. So we'll have uh, this link in the description below to the direct link from where you can download it and make sure to go give the developer some thanks and uh, if you're using this app. Now, finally, we have a really cool app. It's called SMTH. It stands for Send Me to Heaven. And this is an app that will record your throw when you throw your phone in the air. So it says, throw your phone as high as you can. So I'm gonna do that right now. Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you wanna see more of these videos, let us know in the comments below. And if you know any of these apps or have used them, let us know how long you've used them and what you think of them. And if you recommend some other apps, let us know what those apps are and we'll go check them out and possibly make a version two if I start using any of those apps. I'll see you guys in the next one. Gosh damn it, Houston, we have a problem.